the greatest thing I've achieved was personally a, a personal goal that was to score a certain number of goals throughout my high school career. I didn't really get to beat the school record, but I was close, so I'm happy with that. My great achievement was my 11th grade season. I changed position to defensive mid, and then I played the best I've ever played in my Ucrest career. This season was a long one full of frustrations and you know, it had ups and downs but at the end it was all worth it and it was such a wonderful feeling to lift up that trophy with the team. You know, everyone was really happy, it was a joyful moment for like three days all of us were just rejoicing and celebrating. So yeah, it was a wonderful experience. One memorable moment that has had an impact on my life is the first time we played in Miss Palace Girls. I was losing 7 0, and I scored a last minute header. And after the game, Coach Binga told us that the fact that we lost wasn't the end of the world, but the fact that we played and we put in our best was all that mattered. My most memorable moment was scoring the one of the goals in the finals. At the time, I didn't think it was much, but I'm sure it helped the team when we won the final. One coach that has significantly impacted my athletic life is my tennis coach because he pushes me and he knows what I'm capable of, so yeah. I think it was the summer of 2022 and I was trying to train to get better at track. But like while training, I got injured. I got a knee injury. So at that moment, I just felt like giving up and I was like, what's the point of trying to get better at this anymore if I just ended up getting injured while trying to get better? So like, for the whole school year, I had to like step back from doing any kind of sports and it put me in a really bad place because I was seeing everyone doing something I could do. But like, I feel like there are many times I cried, I can't really, like, there are many times I cried, but like, I feel like those moments just made me want to work to get better so I don't get injured again. There are some videos I watched about injured athletes, you know, just to see people that were like in the same situation like me. And I don't know, I just kept trying to tell myself that you could do this before, so just just try your best. After missing my junior year basketball season due to injury, you know, I had to work hard to get myself back in shape physically. So I tried to focus on rehabilitation and exercises with the help of some of my friends. Yeah, so it was tough. So mentally, I knew I can speak for all athletes after that first injury. I don't think you want to play again, so I had to stay positive. I like stay motivated, try to envision myself back on the court playing the game. Yeah, so it was tough, but like, after everything, it was such a rewarding experience to play again. Okay, so during my recovery process, um, I was in the gym a lot with Moses. Um, he was trying to get me back in shape because like, we had the same injury. So he knew the exercises that would help me. And then my, coach, my coaches outside of school as well. I was in the gym a lot, working with them. Uh, the power of consistency and perseverance, because in sports there are times that you don't feel like practicing or you don't feel like playing matches, but if you don't, then it will lower team morale, and if it lowers team morale, then your team will not perform as well as it possibly could. So there are times that you won't feel like doing something, but you just have to do it 
for the betterment of the team and also for the betterment of yourself in the long run. And so when you come to practice, when you don't feel like it, not only will you improve like your physical prowess, but you also improve as a person because you are training yourself for discipline, which is good. It's taught me, or well, like building my character, it's taught me resilience and like focus. Surely like focusing on the part that influenced the game the most. Sometimes there's like a specific aspect you have to focus on so like the team can get better. Or like for in the case of resilience, you just have to push through even though you're feeling pain. I think that works especially with track. Because not every day you want to come and run, but then even on the days you don't need to run, or you don't want to run, you still have to be on the field. Just to make sure you're active because the moment you get off and you say, I'm not going to do anything, that's the time you're going to start losing. My involvement in sports has, it's kind of forced me to like know how to manage my time because sometimes I want to like go and play ball, but then I know I have academic responsibilities that I can't really ignore. So I don't know, it helps you like choose and like make the right decision. So it really helps you to prioritize, so yeah. So sometimes in, let's take for example, basketball, I might be trying to learn a specific strategy, but then it's difficult to do so. And so I have to try it over and over again in order to achieve what I actually want to do and play my parts in the team. And that applies to life because sometimes you might be trying to learn something that you really need to learn, but then you don't know how to do it. And you may feel like giving up and in the case of basketball, quitting the team, but in my opinion, I don't see that as an option. So I just have to try and try again until I get what I want. The most important trait to have you need to possess like willpower. Try yeah, willpower, because you're going to need it to push through. Because talent alone is not going to push you through the tough times. It's only going to make you at least good to an extent. But if you want to do anything well, if you want to be the best in anything, you need the willpower to be to push on. You need the willpower to be to keep going even though you don't feel like it. Okay, so my first advice is to stay committed. Um, show up for practice. Be committed to the sport. Do what you have to do. My second advice is to set goals for yourself. That's like have things you want to achieve when you're done with the sports. Could be personal goals or goals you could have to help others playing the same sports. And lastly is just to have fun. Do it to have fun, enjoy yourself, make memories with other people playing the same sports with you. Well, one final message I have for the younger athletes, especially the ones in high school, is that dedication and hard work pays off and a positive attitude can take you a long way in your career and every challenge you um, go through just shapes you and makes you better for the future. And to the coaches, just keep doing what you're doing and be patient with the students. Um, for the students, I guess, like the younger athletes especially. The most important thing I would say they need to learn is like commitment and being there to learn, being present to learn something because sometimes, or not sometimes, if you join the sport and you're just there just because you just enjoy being on the bench and just laughing with guys, that's, there's no point of you being in the team, there's no point of you saying you want to be part of the football team or basketball or volleyball team. But if you're there to actually learn something, surely if you've known the sport before, there's always something you can learn. If you're there to actually learn something and present, then there's always going to be something you're going to stick on. And for like the coaches, uh, I don't know, understanding the athlete better, I guess. Because some coaches don't really know. They just know something they've learned from like the past about the sport and they're not ready to learn. But like if you understand the sport better and your athletes, it's make a better connection, I guess. While playing sports, respect others and just have fun and make memories that will last you your whole life. Yeah. Train as much as possible, but also focus on other things because athletics might not actually take you to where you think it'll take you.
So as I said before, um, the power of consistency and discipline is key to achieving anything in life, be it sports or outside of sports, because when you are consistent with something, eventually, even if you're not giving it your best effort, which I believe you should, you will get better over time and you will see improvements over time. It's like going to the gym. Eventually, you will see those muscles grow, but it will not be immediate. So you have to put in the work and you have to put in the effort. My final message is that they need to be composed and patient, but they also need to be hardworking because just being composed will get you, like, it will allow you to play your best, to feel like you're playing with your friends, but you also need to be hardworking so that you can come better on and off the pitch. So for the younger students coming up, I'll say keep grinding. If you have a goal in mind, keep pushing towards it. It's not going to be easy, it's going to be tough. You'll be frustrated, you'll be put down, but just have hope. And for the coaches, please have patience with your athletes. Not everyone has the same abilities and people might be going through some things. So please have patience on your athletes and with your help, they'll be able to get there. One piece of advice I have for younger athletes is to stay consistent and be patient, your time will come and your hard work will pay eventually, so yeah. Okay, put in the hard work and also put God first because I feel like part of so, something that helped me or someone that helped me overcome what I went through was God. And I'll just say keep putting in the hard work. Sports have taught me so much throughout the years. And I'd like to share some lessons I've learned to my fellow athletes, coaches, and younger students. Um, firstly, never under underestimate the power of hard work and dedication. It's not just about the talents you have, but it's about the effort you put in. Secondly, um, embrace your failures. Um, life isn't sm smooth at all, so it's not going to be easy. So use that as a learning opportunity. And lastly, Sport isn't just about winning, it's about sportsmanship and building lifelong friendships with your teammates. So yeah, enjoy the journey. Good evening. Good evening. All right, we are awake. Okay, that was a nice piece. Um, you're welcome to Hillcrest 2024 Sports Awards event, and um, we welcome all of you. We hope that you have a good time as we begin. We'll start by inviting Dorothea Haman to come and lead us in prayer. Good evening. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing us here tonight. We thank you for these, this past school year with the various sports that we've been able to engage in. We thank you for the successes and we thank you for the failures. We thank you for giving us perseverance. And we just pray, Lord, that you'll continue to keep us strong, not only on the field, but in our faith. And we just ask that you continue to bless the relationships between the teammates and the captains and the coaches so that we might continue to grow stronger and, and enjoy our fellowship on the field as well as knowing that we can pray for each other and go stronger in you through our, our, our hard work. We thank you, Lord, for this, these months that we've had with all the various sports. And again, we just ask you that you might bless this evening and help us to celebrate the achievements and to celebrate the seasons. Thank you, Lord, for all the hard work that we've had from our students and from their coaches. We ask that you continue to bless them and prepare them for the year ahead. In your name, amen. Thank you. Next on our program, we have the opening speech. And um, permit me to invite Mr. A, the tallest staff on the... 
among all teachers, a great inspiration to me, a great inspiration to all athletes and all students. Thank you so much, Mr. A. This one here, is he going to work here? He's going to work yes, here. Yes, sure. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed faculty, proud parents, and above all, our remarkable student athletes, good evening to everyone. It is with great joy and honor that we gather here this evening to celebrate the achievements and dedication of our athletes. We are here full of excitement, not only to honor their athletic prowess, but also their commitment to faith, sportsmanship, and teamwork. In the realm of sports, victories are measured not only by the score on the board, but also by the characters displayed on and off the field. The time you were ruthlessly tackled and you felt like giving your opponent the uppercut, but you refrained. Times you felt unfairly treated by the referees and still you maintained your cool. As athletes, you have exemplified godly virtues throughout the season, showcasing resilience, integrity, and compassion in every game you played. And we are indeed proud of you. As we reflect on the past season, let us remember the countless hours of practice and the sacrifices made and the bonds you formed. Each moment, whether it be a triumphant win or a challenging defeat, each moment has shaped you into the individual that you are today. In the spirit of gratitude, we extend our deepest appreciation to the coaches as well. Those who have poured their time, the wisdom, the encouragement into our athletes. Your guidance has been instrumental in their growth, both as athletes and as individuals. Thank you. To the parents and families, thank you for your unwavering support and encouragement to our athletes. You left your respective engagement several times to attend their games and also chair them on the sideline. You bought them snacks and drinks as well. Your sacrifices and dedication have not gone unnoticed. Your love and encouragement have contributed immensely to their success, both on and off the field. Thank you again. But most importantly, we give thanks to God for blessing us with these talents and blessing us with the opportunities to compete. Not many schools have the facilities and the variety of sports programs that we run here at Hecrest. Some are not even, sadly, some are not even able to practice and compete because of insecurity. We are very thankful. As we present these awards, let us remember that they symbolize more than just athletic achievements. They represent the combination of hard work, perseverance, and faith. They serve as a reminder that with God, all things are possible. So let us celebrate not only the victories on the scoreboard, but also the victories of the heart. Let us honor the athletes who have embodied the spirit of sportsmanship who have inspired us with their dedication and who have glorified God with their talents. To our athletes, may you continue to shine brightly as beacons of light and hope in the world that desperately needs it. Congratulations to all the award recipients tonight. May God bless you abundantly in all your endeavors. Thank you very much. Please, one more round of applause for today. Okay, next we are going to hit the ground running and um, we'll move on to introduction of coaches. I'll call on Coach Sonny 
to come and do that. Thank you. Um, evening all. Uh, for all our coaches that um, coach our after school sport, please, may you please come out for recognition. Some of the coaches are not here right now, but um, these are the ones that are present. So please, can you please appreciate our coaches by clapping for them for their hard work during the season. So we have some small gifts to give them to appreciate them. So I, I think um, Coach Binga, can you please give them the, the gifts? Okay, from my right hand side, I have Coach TJ. <laughs> coach um, Mohammed for tennis. <laughs> coach Abi for basketball. <laughs> coach Aliu for tennis. <laughs> coach Binga. Tennis, track, and soccer. Yes. And Coach Sonny. So. <laughs> Thank you so much for that, Coach Sonny. You may have your seats, guys. Thank you. Next on the agenda, what we're doing to do at this moment is presentation of awards, and we'll start with football, we'll move on to basketball, we move on to track, we move on to volleyball, tennis, and then we will announce the athlete award. Um, we'll start with the female categories and then move on to the male categories. For every team that has a varsity team and a JV team, we would announce them concurrently, J JV first before varsity. So just pay attention, listen carefully, and support each other as we go through this process. Coach Binga, may you join me off here, please. That was a brief preview of what we experienced. Um, Coach, Coach Binga will come and give the awards for the girls, while I'll give that for the boys. For the girls, MVP goes to Mono. Well done, Mono. MIP goes to Daniela Manklik. <laughs> and then the coaches award goes to Harriet. So.
All right, thank you, Mr. TJ. Yeah. So you, can take a, you can take a seat, please. Uh, we call on Coach Sonny for the boys. Okay. For the boys, Coach's Award goes to Soma Akuja. The MIP award goes to Mark Dunkel. <laughs> and then the award of the most valuable player goes to Adam Spam. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I'll call Coach E.B. to come up here and help me out with this. Um, we had an amazing basketball season, and this young man came on board and changed so much in our team in building up the young ones and shaping them into those or the people that we are hoping to have in the year to come. Thank you, Coach A.B., for all your participation, your contributions. May the good Lord bless you. So, um, I coach the basketball girl for girls, but we're good. Sorry for that. Our male basketball coaches aren't here, but we'll be giving the awards for both the boys and the girls. Okay, for the girls category, for the JV team, um, Coach's Award goes to Wesity. <laughs> MIP goes to Grace Sandy. Drums roll in. Drums roll. The MVP for JV goes to Mono. All right. Now for the Vasti girls. Coach's award goes to Daniela. Most improved player goes to Nirat. Drums rolling. The MVP goes to no one else. You guys can guess. 
Voladi. Keep it going, Mobolaji. For the boys category for junior varsity, the coaches award goes to Sean G. Most improved player is Samuel S. Samuel Shofalua. And the most valuable player for Junior Varsity Boys Team Basketball is Emmanuel Amachi. <laughs> for Varsity Boys, Coaches Award goes to Mark. Most improved player goes to Paul Gazama. <laughs> Drums rolling. And the most valuable player goes to Alos Amachi. Thank you very much. Next, we move on to track. Thank you very much. We start with uh, the field. The coaches award for the field goes to Hannah Alheri. And then the most improved award goes to Hanatu Adawa. And then MVP goes to Chetana Uwecha. For the girls, track coaches award goes to Jedida Yake. improved goes to Hannah Alheri. And then the MVP goes to Oin Consola. All right, thank you very much. You can take your seats. We'll call on Coach Sonny to present the boys. The boys track. No, sorry, I'll start with the field. The boys field event for Coach's Award goes to Olai. All right. 
MIP goes to Ifatu Wechia. And then the MVP for the field event goes to Adam Spam. And then Coach's Award for Track goes to Paul Gadzama. MIP goes to John David. And the MVP goes to DJ Tosan. Okay, thank you very much. You may take your seats. <laughs> now, uh, in the course of the season, we also traveled out to some schools, and then we were able to bring something home. We went to Federal Government College, and they said they had structure, but we showed that the Hillcrest was a better structure. So um, we came first in the four by one 100 meters relay. <laughs> Beating both their boys team and girls team. <laughs> One striking thing about the boys is that uh, Federal Government College won us at, came first at the stadium while Hillcrest came second. But going back to their home, we actually showed them that we had a better structure. So we actually came first, and then they came second. Uh, we call on, uh, for the girls, we call on Mono Sule. <laughs> Zebida Aida Michaels. <laughs> Jedida Yake. <laughs> and Oin Consola. <laughs> And then for the boys, Mark Dankel. <laughs> Paul Gadzama. John David. And DJ Tosan. <laughs> so congratulations to you all. You may take your seats. Okay, moving on to tennis. Tennis is the least participating sport here at Hillcrest, and we encourage more students to get into the sport as it is a major part of um, sporting activities in the world. For the most valuable, I'll start the Coaches Award. The Coaches Award for tennis goes to Alos Amachi. The most improved athlete goes to Isa Gidadu. And the most valuable athlete goes to Paul Gazama. For the girls category, the coaches award goes to Jemima Dunkel. <laughs> the most improved player or athlete is awarded to Plangnan Sarian. <laughs> and the most valuable athlete goes to Vicky.
All right, next we have volleyball. Okay, for the Volleyball Girls Coaches Award goes to Dasu Yoder. And then the most improved player goes, goes to Surum Shima Ayabam. And the MVP award goes to Vicky Lalong. For the boys, coaches award goes to Alos Amachi. The most improved player goes to Sam Sofolue. The MVP goes to Adams Pam. Thank you very much. Uh, during the course of the season, we had some people who actually assisted us in uh, doing stats. We really appreciate you guys for your time and all. On this list, we have Plangnan Sariam, <laughs> Jemima Dankel. Harriet Zhang, Fumi Ojo, Jesse Mukang, Darby, Hanatu Adawa, and Lily Oyebade. Thank you very much. Thank you for your time and support. Thank you. Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. We have come to the very important and most important. Not everything is important today, but this is like the highlight of it. We're going to call on the superintendent to come and announce a record breaking. And the athletes of the year. Cool. I didn't even know what it was yet. So this is um, it's you know the athlete of the year is is somebody who is not um, not only good in one sport but also has the character to take it through more than one sport. It, it's not necessarily somebody who is, um, shall we say, full, full of pride at their corner kicks in football or in their you know, 1500 race in, in track and field, but it's, it's the continuation. And so that when, when you talk about who should be the athlete of the year at Hillcrest. It's one who represents the core values and is an amazing athlete. And sometimes they break records. So um, it, it's with pleasure 
that I say that the athlete of the year the male category. for the female category okay, um, is going to be Jadida Yake. And at the same time, I also want to acknowledge and bring up um, Oyenka, if you would come up, please. So um, the shorter the race, right, the, the, the smaller the margin sometimes, but yet Oyenka broke the record of 24.67 by almost a full half second to 2380. Well done. Now for um, the male athlete of the year. Again, somebody who is consistent through all sports, who has an attitude of, of our core values. And without further ado, Paul Gazzama. So the unsung heroes of athletics are the parents. <laughs> you all know what I mean. It's the ones who are willing to come on Saturdays, even if there's not an official practice, but your child wants to practice anyway. And it's the ones who um, come late um, because ha they have to do one more handoff or one more layup or one more three-pointer. And it sounds like it won't take long at all, but then for some reason nothing drops and it takes like an hour before they get the one more three-pointer in. And parents, you pack extra lunches and you feed them along the way. Thank you so much for your um, help and support of our athletes. Another round of applause, please. And a big thank you to all of the coaches who mentor our athletes, um, improve their skills, help them to see the way for the next step. Thank you so much. And for you athletes, for being willing to try. For some of you, it's trying something you haven't done before. Thank you whether it's for taking stats, which you haven't done before, or trying out a new sport, or, or daring to try a new move on the soccer pitch, or the basketball court, or on the tennis court. Thank you for having that. It will stand you in good stead. Thank you so much, Mrs. Lucas. Now, this is the last but not the least. We take this time to appreciate every freshman that has dedicated themselves and brought themselves out and allowed themselves to participate in sports this year. As Hillcrest community, we tend to appreciate by giving you a hitch, welcoming you to the Hawks team. For this year, with honor and gladness in our hearts and hope that you continue to grace us with your presence in the years to come would like to call on the names of the freshmen, beginning with 
Surum Shima Yapam, Grace Samdi, Tehila Eguda, Jaira Akba, Joel Ida, Ethan Solomon Lapang, Ethan Joshua Dunkel, Usiju Moses Gadzama, Yusef Girado, Isaac Zigo, Sean Robshik, Abel Pajok, Emmanuel Amachi, Zara Shwaibu, Mono Sule, Alheri Hanna, Egoliam Isabelo, Ifatu Uechia, Sean Gamwok, Dario KK, and Zibida Ida Michaels. When Hillcrest School is mentioned, when Hillcrest School is acknowledged, you are the ones that are being acknowledged. So we thank you so much for joining the sports and athletic department in helping us to make this year possible. And we look forward to having you guys on the team again next year with a greater grace that the Lord has given to you to accomplish the tasks that he has established for your lives. Thank you so much. Closing prayer. We're going to have a closing prayer now, but that's not the last thing we do. We have prepared a fresh, a brief, and small refreshment for each and every one of you. And we don't want it to waste because it's specifically and specially meant for you. We would invite Dorothea Haman, who opened us in prayer, to close us in prayer again before we go out there and have fun and have a good time communicating with each other and. Um, before we depart from this venue. Thank you. Before we close, I just want to give one little word of advice for next school year. Some of you guys, you, when you come into the new year in August, you're, you're tired a lot because you haven't been training over the summer. And I would encourage you guys to take time this summer to get in shape before you come to school, because it will make the season so much better. So just keep in mind that running or lifting weights or something to get yourself shape in shape before you come will make it even better next year. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, again, we thank you for all the hard work that we've seen evidence of today. We've seen all the awards given out from freshmen to sophomores, juniors and seniors. We thank you for all their hard work and their efforts. We thank you for the coaches' efforts. And we just pray that you'll keep us all healthy and strong so we can return in August, ready for a new school year and a new season of sports. We, may get, we ask that you continue to bless us in all of our efforts and for the, the games that will happen over the summer, all the pickup games and the exercises, we just ask that you continue to encourage and strengthen all of our athletes. We thank you, Lord, in your name. Amen. Amen. You're dismissed. Thank you for coming. Thank you so much. We're pulling up. Thank you.